Today on our 2016 Jeep Wrangler, we're going to show you how to install the Roadmaster 20 amp 12 volt outlet kit. Its part number is RM-9332. Now we can use a type of 12 volt accessory. In this case, we're just going to use like a USB charger. Slide that in and we want to see that green light come on. That's going to indicate that we've got power. See off, on. So we're set up, ready to go. 12 volt power at hand whenever the braking system gets installed. Here's what the kit's gonna consist of. It's a pretty simple, straightforward setup. Here's what we're looking for. That 12 volt outlet we'll be able to plug in. It's got a bracket connected there so we can attach it either under the dash or, or somewhere where it'll be handy to get to. We've got five foot of wire. That's gonna run to an inline fuse holder. This is gonna connect either using the fuse tap into our fuse panel, or we can run it directly to the battery, which we're gonna be doing today. And then we've got our ground here. Now again, this can be grounded out to the body of the vehicle, or also to the battery, which I think we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to have the hardware we need, self-tapping screw for the ground, self-tapping screw for our bracket, then a small wire tie or zip tie if we need to get it up and out of the way. Now what this allows us to do, you can A, just add a 12 volt outlet into your car if you wanna do that. But the real reason we have this is so when you have to disconnect your battery, when you have to shut off power to your car as part of the setting it up for a dinghy towing or being towed behind a motorhome, this is going to give us a consistent 12 volt power source even with fuses removed. That way we can power maybe like a braking system or something we might have in the car. Now right behind the horn located here on the driver's side and beside the brake booster, there's gonna be a grommet. We're gonna use that grommet to pass our wiring through. That's gonna pass right through the firewall into our driver's side floorboard. Now we can go right up from our brake pedal, right behind the bracket located here on the driver's side. And we wanna make just a very small slit in our grommet. All right, now that should give us enough room to pass both of our wires through. Now that we've picked out our mounting location here, we'll go ahead and use the self-tappers to get it installed. So we've got our first one started, we'll get our second one going. All right. Now we can route our wires from over here on the driver's side right over to the passenger side. You can see that nice big heavy wire loom that runs all the way across the back side here. We'll zip tie off to that. May need to provide a couple of your own zip ties for this. I'm going to separate my ground wire out of there now, since this is going to run to the positive side of the battery. That'll be right there. Then we've got our negative side right here. Now you can see we're a little bit short on making that connection. We could probably stretch it and get it on there. Just go ahead and add in a nice short little piece. That way we'll have plenty of slack. Now we'll trim off the ring terminal that was already attached to that black wire. And then strip it back. And we'll add on a butt connector. And this is a heat shrink butt connector we have available on our website. Add our small length that we just had here in the shop. Now we can use a source of heat, like a heat gun or a lighter. Go ahead and shrink those connectors down. Now to the other end here, we're going to add on a ring terminal. That'll go right on the empty stud on our negative side terminal there. And we'll just kind of zip tie that wire off to the negative side battery cable here. That way when they pull that off, they'll be able to pull that off at the same time. take the spade connector off the end of our positive side. And we can strip that back and add a ring terminal there as well. We'll just pull off one of our nuts on one of the studs coming off our positive terminal and we'll add it on. 
We'll have that right there accessible where it can be easily changed, but it also tucked back out of the way so it's not interfering with anything. All right, with the outlet working properly, that completes today's installation of the Roadmaster 20 amp 12 volt outlet kit. Part number RM-9332 on our 2016 Jeep Wrangler.